Hello everyone, this is Tina Karagoulian of Black Rose Arts and Crafts and I wanted to had a little technical difficulty trying to get the right angle for this painting. It had a little bit of a glare on it, but uh, it's called Bluebird. And I wanted to, for you to be able to take a, a look at it and notice how the simplicity of it, the uh, simple lines, there's not a lot of depth which is usually normal in some of my bird paintings. But this bird wanted to be painted like folk art. It wanted to be painted in a certain way. And so I wanted to talk about how maybe a piece of art or a piece of writing wants to be written or told or painted or drawn in a certain way and allowing that to come through even though it may go against your own artistic style or uh, your desire maybe for it to go in a different direction and to just allow it. And so I wanted you to take a look at it, this and just allow for the simplicity of it to come through, to see it for what it is, which is also a great attribute in life to see things for what they are and appreciate them for what they are and allow something beautiful to come through. So take a look at this and see the simplicity of it and the beauty of it. See where your eye naturally goes, where it's drawn. I'm gonna try to come a little closer. See a little bit more. See where your eye naturally goes. It's a bluebird. Notice its eye. Notice its beautiful, calm gaze. It's very, very simple. So I just wanted to put this back down. Um, it's just, it's. It's, it's, it's an opportunity for us to, to say, hey, what can we see in our own lives, in our own, maybe the season of your life? How can you just accept the beauty of what is there, the simplicity of what is there? So maybe there's an aspect of your life that you haven't really felt like you can embrace in a very simple and beautiful way. So I'd like to take an opportunity to do a little meditation where we actually relax and accept an aspect that we might not normally and allow that part of you to tell a story right now. So let's go ahead and inhale, feel your feet on the ground. Retain the breath, exhale. Retain the breath. Inhale. Fully retain the breath. Exhale. Retain the breath. So just allow yourself a rhythm of breathing. With every inhale, feel yourself more grounded into who you are. Feel your feet really planted on the ground, rooted into the ground. Feel almost as if your feet are in soil or sand or water. Feel yourself really connected to Mother Earth. Exhaling, letting go of anything that gets in the way of acceptance for this moment. It's just an allowing, inhaling, grounding, exhaling, accepting. Accepting the beauty of who you are right now, accepting this place and time, this moment of your life with acceptance with every inhale. Exhale, letting go of anything you don't need, feeling rooted in the ground. So 
So close your eyes if it helps and feel a part of you, whatever part of you that needs attention maybe right now. Let your breath go there, inhaling. Some love and attention and focus, exhaling out what you don't need that gets in the way of accepting that part of you, whatever a part of you that is. And feel yourself really relaxing and breathing around that part of you. Feel the muscles around that part of you relax. Maybe it's a part of your heart. Maybe it's a part of right in your belly. Wherever it is, just, just be with it and with just attention and love and acceptance. And just say, I'm here. I am here now. I'm bringing in grace and acceptance. And I'm surrounding you. And I'm allowing you to tell your story, allowing that part of you to just say what it wants to say, just like a character in a story, or maybe a bird that I, you want to paint, or maybe another subject that are, you're wanting to create, allowing some truth and realness to come through. So feel that part of your body with your breath, inhaling, retaining, exhaling, retaining, hello, Suzanne, welcome, inhaling, exhaling. So go to that part of you that might be a little tight, that maybe you have held a lot of judgment towards. Hello, Marianne. Just be gentle with that part of you, whatever part of you that is. Breathing, loving, embracing, almost as if it were a friend in front of you saying, you know, oh, I just want to be myself and I don't know how. And just give it a lot of love. Love you too. So just bring such awareness and presence to that part of you, breathing and loving. And maybe there's a poem that wants to be said that wants to be written in a way that you've never written it before. Allow that. Allow yourself to break some rules. Maybe forget the grammar, forget the art technique, forget the writing, the, how you've done it. Let the story want to be told, maybe simpler than before, with less, and see what that's like. Breathing into that, allowing that. Most of all, do that with yourself. Maybe that part of you let it breathe a little more deeply, relaxing, saying, you know what? I'm so out of the box and I just want to be simple and out of the box and just say, yay, let's celebrate that. And let's just embrace that and relax into that. And let that part of you, that part of your body guide you. What is the next step? Maybe there's a word that comes, maybe there's a phrase that comes if you're a writer from the relaxing and being with that part of you, what comes? What beautiful part comes? Just notice. Can you get completely out of the way for this creativity to come through? Can you get completely out of the way and allow a bigger part of you to share what it wants to share with you? and let it also support you. So let that part of your heart grow larger and radiant along with your breath and surround any part of you that feels isolated so that you can be more unified with an aspect of yourself. So allow that with your breath, with your presence, with your heart radiance and breathe. Again, deeply inhaling, retaining, exhaling. 
just allow. Feel yourself sinking deeper into your heart, into your knowing, into that very calm place that's within you. With every breath, notice that you naturally want to go there to deepen that part of yourself, that wisdom part of you. Allow it to calm you and be with yourself. Good. Relax into it. This is who you are. This is a part of you that knew how to be creative when you were little and didn't have to think about it and didn't have to figure anything out. Excuse me. Just relax. 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 That's it. Good. Keep going into that deep space. And if an image comes or a word comes, let it gently. It's got to be very gentle, no forcing. And if it's not, just let the presence of what is coming and surrounding you make itself known. Let that enlarge. It is your own soul that knows what to do. So just breathe into that. Hi, Lisa. Breathe into your own knowing, inhaling, retaining, exhaling, and retaining that pause. Now look upon maybe a memory that you've been grappling with, or maybe that piece of art, or this time of your life, and say, what can I do? To accept this more with a fuller compassion in my heart, with a fuller perspective. Can I be kinder and or gentler with myself as I'm growing in any way that I'm growing? And give that to yourself today with the utmost love. Yes, there you go. Just feel that more deeply. And go back and maybe look at something that you're working on creatively and say, can I bring this enlarged presence? Can I bring this more compassionate heart and simplicity and acceptance to what this process is that I'm doing right now. Can I allow something bigger to happen? So give that to your heart, Lisa. Yes. Bring that love and heart. Marion, you are a healer. We each are healers. We all have this unlocked in our hearts. We know how to do this. We just forget sometimes. Just remember that you can expand and radiate that love. Good. I'm going to bring my little my little folk art bird back. Okay. Let's see if you can see it. Just like you do, hopefully you'll do with your own creativity. What do you see? Do you see this a little differently? Do you see the simplicity of someone in your family with a little more acceptance to allow the stories to be told, allow the character to say what it wants to say, allow the art to want to be spoken. Like I said earlier, this is not a bird I would have painted. But this bird wanted to look like this. And I said, okay, let's do it. This is how it wanted to be told. So can we give the freedom and the movement to the art 
the drawing, the poem. Let it speak. Let it speak. Yes. Thank you, Marion. Yes, there's peace in this eye of the bird. The bird wanted to bring peace. So what wants to come through you today toward yourself and in your creative work? What wants to be seen that hasn't been seen by you? So ask yourself that and if you have any answers, tell me what you're working on creatively and what your character or your art wants to say, or maybe the part of your body today that we worked with. What wants to be known? Continue to breathe. Inhaling, pausing, exhaling, and pausing. Blessings, 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 everyone. Continue to feel the freedom and the acceptance of who you are and the sovereignty of your beautiful soul. Until next week, have a beautiful weekend. Take care.